up guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Angel Marino, but you can call me Mac Daddy. And in today's video, it's a little different. We're not in my usual setting. And I'm with the one, the only, this was a very expensive booking fee to get in oh, here, you guys, here just so you know. Mm -hmm. Direct deposit did hit, but we have the one and only static job, baby. You know how much I love it when you push the buttons, dude. You know how much I love it when you do that. We're actually in John's studio that also dubs as Club Daddy, if you guys have ever heard of it. We worked on a very special collaboration. I had this idea um, back in like May, was it like May? Mm -hmm. It was like May. Uh, we were already probably like, probably like five club daddies in, mm -hmm. like five or six. Yep. And obviously John has become such a huge part of club daddy. Um, we literally, I literally, I feel like I called you up, right? And I was like, hey, like, I'm doing this virtual night club. Like, I really think you should like DJ. And it just became this thing, right? Kind of do you remember off. that phone call? Yeah, because I, I saw you do the first one. Yeah. And I was kind of DJing in the garage doing yeah. stuff for like Katie's. And, I, and I'm stuff. surprised you even agreed to it because I was just like, let me just shoot my shot. And then it like worked. And I was like, oh. Not going to lie, I have a little humbling. Yeah, let's do it. it. I feel like I was a little bit down with COVID. Like okay. I just felt like I was sad. The world had changed and yeah, everything. It was, I was, it was using, a crazy time. I was using music as like an outlet. And then the fact that you created yeah. the club, I was like, wow, this is the perfect outlet for me. Yeah. It kinda, for me. I mean, it definitely changed my whole vibe and gave me something to look forward yeah. to every week. So we treated it like a full-on yeah. club. I mean, it, you guys, it literally became this thing that literally took over our lives, not even gonna lie. We would literally sit there on calls like during the week, like, okay, what's the vibe this weekend? Mm -hmm. What's the theme? What's the special flyer. guest? What does the flyer look like? Yeah. Like, I don't think you guys understand how much time this really took. It definitely became a passion project for myself as I know I did for you. And for me personally, it just really gave me, like you said, like an escape from everything that was going on. You guys know I love to turn up. Everybody knows I love to have fun. Some might say I'm the life of the party or whatever. That's the word and of the street. And that's the word of the street. That's you know, what I'm, they just, say. I'm just, you know, repeating what people tell me. Right. You know. Excuse me. Um, that's what actually someone just told me that you're the life of the party. Per. Convenient. Per. Um, so yeah, it really became something fun for me to do as just like an outlet. And then once I took a step back and looked at the community that we had created and what it meant for people, like. I feel like we can both relate like the next day, like on Saturdays, cause we would normally do Club Daddies on Friday nights and then Saturdays I'd wake up hungover as hell. FaceTime me. FaceTime you, Yeah. show you the curl pattern. I feel like I screenshotted some of those moments. Maybe we could insert a couple of those crazy curl patterns. Yes. We were both hungover though. Always hungover. And it was like, how, how did we do? Cause we kind of yeah. don't remember. And we would have a little recap, like, okay, like how do we feel? What was the highlights? Mm -hmm. What can we improve? But for me, what really stood out is like all of the messages and all the love that we yeah. would get like the next day of people being like, wow, this was so much fun. And it literally became a thing that literally took over the internet. It like took the world by storm. I mean, we had like crazy influencers up in the club every Friday. And it was like everybody just vibing, leaving comments, talking to each other. Yeah. And if you used your imagination, it literally felt like we were at a real life club. Yeah, I mean, seeing people tag us when they, they get ready, they would do their makeup, yep. they would have a little bottle service at their house. Like, that, that was my favorite, was is everyone's setups at home, like the bottle service and the lighting and like, people were really, really, really like into it. Still are. Um, but it's just really cool that we created that. So I had this idea and I literally remember being in my conference room with my team and I'm like, we need to do a Club Daddy collection. Like I just feel it in my soul and my spirit and my, and we just have to do it. And I called you. And I was like, yo, like, I really want to do this Club Daddy collection. Like, if there is anything you ever wanted to make, like, what would it be? And you said. For me? For you. It has to be a highlighter. Yeah. Period. I can't just do something simple, something standard. It has right. to be extra. It has to be next level. Yep. We have to develop a highlighter. Yeah. I'm all about lighting. I feel like a highlighter is the perfect way to light your face. I feel like it's, like, the best way to stand out in a club, which is. True. Period. Get you a man. Get you a man, get you noticed. Um, I will say, I feel like you thought I was like joking. Honestly, when I, when kinda, I told you about it, I, I kind of feel like I feel like you, you were like not really like thinking I was being serious. No, I was actually. Gonna, I love that we're both pouring shots. I know. Here. I saw you pour a shot. I, like, well, I didn't want to reach across, man. But I, it, I think we should it. both take one. Okay. Hopefully, I don't. I'm gonna take a little chase moment. I know that you say you're proud that you don't have to do one, but I need a chase. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. To, to our highlight. announcement. Cheers to, to Club Daddy. 
Oh boy. That ass. When you asked me, I already wanted this, but I was like, I feel weird. No, you did me. not. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I so did. So you I literally felt... were like, oh, let's let's create makeup. Well, I see everyone getting ready and doing their makeup, and mm -hmm. I felt like the mm -hmm. one theme of all the stuff for Club Daddy when I would see tags the next day, people had fierce fucking makeup, dude. That, like, that's... They went all out. Listen, this was my excuse to get ready. And yeah, I had this idea, and I was like, let's do it, let's do it. We had a meeting where we like sat down and we talked about what we wanted it to be. And I just want to very quickly send a huge shout out to my entire Artist Couture team, um, everyone that we work with from our vendors to our lab, to our manufacturers, brand managers, our account managers. So, you guys, we pulled this off in seven months, which is literally unheard of. If you know, you know, you'll always hear influencers talking about, I've worked on this for a year, I've worked on this for two years, it I would took also me say, five years, you know what I mean? It's not fucking some regular shit. No, it's not. It's next level. It's next level, everything is special. Every detail is thoroughly thought through, literally, like every little thing, every little piece of it has a purpose, and the fact that we were able to do this so quick yeah. is literally mind-blowing. Like, I, I, I honestly can't believe that we were able to do this. So shout out to everybody that was a part of this. Something that I'm really, really excited to show you guys that we also took a long time in really figuring out what we wanted it to be is the Club Daddy PR Box. So if you know, you know, I feel like PR boxes are always like the best way to tell a story. And Can I mean- I open this or no? Not yet. Let me, let me, let me, let me. I'm sorry, I don't mean it. Let me set it up for you. So PR boxes tell a story, okay? I think it's like the perfect way to really kind of get a vibe for the collection. You open it up, it's a moment, and we really, really, really like nailed it, in my opinion. I agree with you as well. With the Club Daddy PR box. So June Z's is going to open it for I you guys. I feel like Vanna White right now. Very, uh, what's the, what's the, what's the thing with the briefcases? Ooh, deal or no deal. Very deal or no deal to house. I would say that right now. You're gonna choose this box? I'm gonna go ahead and choose this box. You're choosing box club Choosing box Daddy. club daddy. Woo! You guys, I love this box so much. I know you guys probably can't really like see like the details, but there is so much detail. I really wanted this to just feel like a nostalgic moment. There's just so many awesome memories um, when it comes to Club Daddy. I mean, we've we've had a lot of really, really like unique memories and i just feel like i'm just so proud you guys like honestly truly so this is extra special to me Can and i, I just something? think we know that yeah you keep saying we which I'm, I'm all about i love mm -hmm. that you do that for yourself but you created this no i want to give you a little bit of props no. because it was an idea you had you did it in your apartment i feel like you created the world we kind of helped and i feel like it helped <laughs> me get through a lot of stuff it helped a lot of other people get through a lot of stuff so i think you need to give yourself oh thank you a little bit of props because you did create something very special and like a very unique way to get through a weird time in the yeah. world so i think you and i'm sure a lot of people at home are thanking you for it too well thank you guys i appreciate it i appreciate you and also shout out to dj yoli and, and dj leslie we also got them in here they've also been such a huge part of Club Daddy uh, joining us on like Fridays or Saturdays and they've they've honestly been so amazing and you guys know them, you guys love them, so we had to have them in here. Two icons. Literally, we got Big Mike, obviously. Y'all know that we couldn't forget about him. Um, one of my favorite moments in here too is like these moments up here. This is for my birthday. If you guys know, you know, we have the little Fort Cliff moment. This will forever, I think, be like one of my favorite pair of boxes that I've ever created and I honestly cannot wait for everyone to receive them and open them and yeah, I can't believe this is like finally happening. And they will be available on the site? They will be available on the website. Just so you guys know, very, 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 very limited quantity. We kind of wanted to have these available just for like our biggest like Club Daddy fans. There's so many of you guys that have been there like every single time, every week dedicated from the twerk offs to the day somebody got naked on the live to like me just being really drunk and just so many things. So I wanted to make sure that we had these available. Yes. Wanna talk about the shot glasses really fast? Yes, yours says fuck it up sis, which I feel like is the mantra. Her. Period. Mine says no water shots. Cause I get a lot of shit. People think I drink water at the club. I, I, I was one of those people, I'm not gonna lie. I usually do drink water shots. When I used to go out and party with you in real life, I would drink water shots. I would tell the bartender to go take up the water shots, sorry. A little confession. All right, well. Honest confessional moment. But 
now I'd be drinking the real thing. So now you guys will have some shot glasses uh, that we created for you guys, so yeah. All right, so let's dive into the eyeshadow palette. Okay, so here is the Unicarton for the eyeshadow palette. I really wanted like Club Daddy to just like live on its own. Um, I was like, I don't even want the Artist Tour logo in the front. We just need the Club Daddy moment because I felt like this is what it is. This is the moment. Um, we have Artist Couture on the side. In the back, I wrote a really heartfelt message. I'm not gonna read it. I don't wanna get emotional, you know? Um, but I, I took the time to really write a message um, from the bottom of my little, you know, Salvadorian heart, my little corazón. And I wrote it for you guys. And then we have the Club Daddy logo. And then of course we have the iconic static logo. Mm -hmm. um, and then you obviously have all of your like ingredients, all that jazz. Obviously, as you guys know, we are vegan. Period. We are cruelty free. We care. Fragrance free. Mm -hmm. No smells over here. Paraben free. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is. Siliconiana free. Mm -hmm. None of that. We are bullshit free. Mm -hmm. And we are inclusive and we are diverse. So if you align with all of that, I highly encourage you to this is the uh, for you. <laughs> purchase this palette. I am obsessed with how this turned out. So you open it up mm -hmm. and then. Oh, wow! The legend. Wait, the way that this is moving in the in the little monitor, mm -hmm. this is doing something. That's real life, right there. Okay, mm -hmm. so let me tell you guys a little backstory really quickly. Okay, I wanted you guys to really have the vibe with this collection. So I came up with this idea, and I was like, we need to have hologram on the palette and everything because I wanted this to look like what. Expensive. No. Money? No. Period? No. <laughs> a club? Club lights! <laughs> I wanted this to look like club lights, John, I told you this. I wanted this to look like club lights. You guys, please please drop a comment. Hey, if tell you, me if I'm if, wrong on any of those other things. <laughs> is expensive and money wrong? Wait, drop a comment if you agree that this looks like club lights because, bitch, this is a, a club light, period. Um, and it obviously has the iconic Club Daddy logo with my face. This is the first time, you guys, that I've ever put my face like in an actual product. I love it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I stare at this and I'm like, yes, bitch, work! Like, I love it so much, um, and I hope that you guys love it too. You guys, you same holographic inside. Okay, we did not skip out on the details. Look at how cute that is. Um, and we have a nine pan eyeshadow palette. Now this is a pressed pigment and eyeshadow palette. So technically when we use certain ingredients, certain dyes, um, we have to you know, disclose that it is a pressed pigment. Mm -hmm. um, so some of these shades uh, were really, really challenging to create, especially in a vegan formula. It's definitely a little bit more of a sexier, bolder palette and that's exactly what I wanted for this. I'm actually wearing the palette on my eyes right now. I don't have anything else on my eyes but this. Um, and I'm really, really happy with what we created here, you guys. The colors are beautiful. And little details, okay, I was like, you know what? No, we can't just have regular pans in here. Nope. So I said, I need this to be like a tipsy moment. Like when you're at the club and you're a few shots in like we are right now. Yeah, you're hanging on to the and, wall. And you start to feel a little tipsy, Anna. Yeah, you're looking your, for Your vision starts to, you know, you get a little mm -hmm. like, is he cute or am I drunk? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. You're a little shifty. A little shifty, Anna. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be really cool to do the pants like on their side. So when you look at it, it's like, wait, bitch, am I like, Am I like tripping or? I love that too. It's so or, subtle. It's so you know sweet. what I mean? Yeah. Now we're gonna dive into each shade, talk about the name, and talk about the color. Shade number one. So, of course, we had to kick it off with the one and the only bottle service because you ain't doing the club right. You you can't take me to the club. Oh, is it a requirement for you to have bottle service? You dead ass. Yeah. Are you the guy that stands on the couch at fucking Playhouse? Is that you? Okay, first of all, I don't go to Playhouse. Okay, but you've been there. I used to. You've been there. But don't go anymore. Bottle service, you guys, because listen, that's the only way to really do a club when you're with your girls. You guys have bottle service at home when you guys are tuning into Club Daddy. We have bottle service low key when we're like getting lit behind the DJ booth. We also, have, we have bottle service we now. Have bottle service now. I feel like we, this is. I'll take a, a shot o'clock moment sure, sure. for bottle Whatever service. Whatever you need. Okay. I will say that everyone joins us on Zoom. I would say that's kind of our bottle service. Those that is our, our those bottle are service. Our VIP those tables. are our VIP tables. What's the most you spent on bottle service? Seven hundred bucks for a bottle of Sky, dude. I've never, I'm never that guy. Sky? <laughs> never that guy. 
I'm no, not... no shade if you drink Sky. No shade if you drink Sky, but you know there is levels. I like being in the, with the people. <laughs> <laughs> I like to not feel like shit the next day. How about that? I like to be with the people. Wow. Dude. I like to go with the brand. <laughs> <laughs> I, like to, I like someone else to come wow. with a bottle. Hell no. Dude. Listen. Okay. I like to go with Angel. I like him to invite me to Poppy. The most. <laughs> <laughs> you love Poppy. The most I've ever spent on bottle service was 15 grand to see Drake at Marquee. In Absolutely Vegas not. For New Year's Eve. <laughs> Absolutely not. $15,000. It was like four bottles, actually. It was like four Magnum bottles, uh, and it was like 10 people at the table, 15K to see Drake, New Year's Eve. I'll never do it again. You and I live very different lives, I'm noticing. Dude, I've never spent 15, 15K. I'll never do it again. I'll never do it again. It was like a once in a lifetime moment, like feeling the oats. It's the moment I'm young, wild, and free. But now I'm just like, damn. Do you have any regrets or you're you happy that you did? Absolutely no regrets. Per. No one ever regrets. And cheers to no regrets. Cheers to 15K for Drake. Oh, I took <laughs> oh there it is. Yeah, That's a real life story, you guys. 15K. Shadow number one mm -hmm. is what? Bottle, bottle Serviana. Service. Bottle Serviana. So this first shade is a bottle service. She's like the perfect dusty rose. She's not too dark. She's not too light. She's great for a transition shade. You can put her all over your crease. It's the perfect color to blend other things out. It looks beautiful on its own or layered with other products. All right, so moving on to shadow number two. It's probably one of my favorites in the palette. It's really hard. I mean, they're all my favorites. Obviously, there's only nine. But I would prefer if your favorite was something else, but I'll let you live. I get that you, they This is one of my favorites. I didn't say it was my favorite. Okay. Is Miss Quarantina. Yeah. Okay, because if it wasn't for Miss Quarantina, we, we wouldn't know. have Club Daddy. So although we were going through it, we were distraught, we were shook, we didn't know what was going on, it did bring us something amazing like Club Daddy. So I had to pay homage. There was no way that we couldn't pay homage to that moment and I decided to name this one Quarantina. This shade is a beautiful metallic pinky red tone. It literally looks so beautiful. It's so metallic. If you want a pop of color, this is definitely your girl. You can use it by itself. You can put it on your eyelids. You can even use it as blush. It's such a beautiful shade, super high shine and metallic. I absolutely love it. So the next shade is twerk wow. off. So you guys, I feel like one of my favorite memories of the entire Club Daddy experience has been our twerk offs. They were so epic. We literally had people from literally all across the globe come on and twerk for all of you guys. To me, like when I think of Club Daddy, like the number one thing that I think of is either me twerking or the twerk off. So I said, put some respect on the twerk. On the twerk. And we had to honor it with the shade named Twerk Off. And I'm gonna swatch it for you guys right now. Twerk Off is a beautiful matte shade. A cross between like a red and a purple. It's kind of really hard to explain in my opinion. It's really unique. It's super blendable, super buttery. You can use this in your crease. You can use this all over your eyelid. And overall, it's just such a beautiful shade. Next we have Live, which is this beautiful, I don't even, how do we describe this blue? It's a teal moment. Is it teal? I would say it's a teal. Or man. is it blue? I mean, it's a blue teal. Is it teal? I would say I give it up to Nipsey Hussle for this one. Is it a Tiliana? It's a Tiliana. It's a Tiliana. A That's Tiliana. what it is. A Tiffany Tiliana. Yeah. It's like teal, but like significantly better. It's a teal, but like an elevated teal. As you would expect from us. Per. It's an expensive teal. It's a very expensive, exclusive, one of a kind. Vegan. And that's also paraben free. And that's also cruelty free. Mm -hmm. Doesn't exist. Per. So this shade is called Live. We obviously had to pay homage to the whole situation. Like we wouldn't have Club Daddy if it wasn't for the Live feature on Instagram. Were you big in Lives before Club Daddy? Like, no. Just, not really, no. right? No. I was not ever live, you guys, at all pre-quarantine. Like I, there was no way that you would have ever caught me on Live. There's just something about it that literally just made me feel like really scared mm -hmm. and really nervous. So the, the, the thought of going live yeah. and the thought of like real time people's thoughts and comments, like it is very nerve wracking. And I never did it um, up until like the Club Daddy moment. And I feel like there was something about Club Daddy and just like letting my hair down and just getting lit and having fun with you guys that just 
allowed me to break out of my shell a little bit more. And if you know, you know, if you've been following me for a while, you know, I feel like I've never in my life have ever felt closer to you guys until this year and until all of this started to happen. So we had to pay homage to, to the lie. The lie. Okay, oh guys, we're gonna God, do a shot dude. really fast before we get into this next shade because it's something to celebrate. I'm gonna use my uh, fuck it up sis shot. I'm gonna hold and take a shot. Per. Per. Oh. I didn't. I didn't sneeze that time. Per. So let's talk about the center shade. <laughs> front, front and center. <laughs> Front and center. That's what he does. He you have PTSD about that, don't you? I really do. And if you guys want to find Long out about story. that, head over to my channel. We're going to talk. This almost didn't happen, y'all. He tried to fight me, sir. Her. Yeah, we had a very just adult go. conversation just go. Just about go. it. Just go. This shade is called Static. It's front and center. It's extra. It's loud. It's just like me. It's a main event, main character. Her. I like to think of myself like that, and we both like to think of ourselves like that. Her. That's why I think we get along so well. Her. My color story for all my videos, everything about my channel has been like this kind of purpley blue. I feel like mm -hmm. it really compliments myself, mm -hmm. makes me pop out, as you guys can tell. It's in every single video I have. It really is. So we wanted to celebrate that in this eyeshadow. It kind of has like a, it's like a duochrome finish, I would like to say. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, and I nice. want you guys to know that John here mm -hmm. had full creative control of his shades. Like, I don't want you guys to think that I was like, oh, we should No, like, I literally was like, give me the tea. And he was, you actually were very specific, and I was actually very surprised that you knew exactly what you wanted. I mean, this is my color story. This kind I of literally thing. was like, if, if, if it was you in an eyeshadow, what does it look like? And he said, purr, 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 purr. I would say you can layer it too. I'm also, Definitely. I'm, I'm gonna shout it out. Yes. I think it works with Big Mike. I feel like you yeah. can wear it different ways. I feel like it kind of could work with live. You can, like you, you can, can wear it, it by itself, ways. and it's a moment, or you can like put it on top of something else, and it'll transform. She's a kind of elevate mm -hmm. that color. There's so much that you can do with it, and if you're a bitch like me, mm -hmm. you could also use it as a highlight. Per. Mm -hmm. And that's the tea on that. Per. So here we go, the moment John has been waiting for. This static shade is absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at that payoff, full pigment. It is so buttery, so creamy. I love this duochrome moment. It shifts from like a blue to a purple. You can use this as a topper over another color, or you can wear it by itself. You can also layer it and get a full pigment moment. This shade is literally to die for. All right, you guys, so moving on to the next shade is one of my favorite phrases that I uh, obnoxiously yell. <laughs> I love it. I'm Every time it. I'm on a mic, you guys, the mic moment, I'm gonna blame you. I don't know why you thought that was Ooh. a good idea. Once I got but a wireless is, mic, it was over, dude. This is, uh, truly. Yeah, once you're able to Don't give me around, the Britney. Oh, man. Don't give me the Britney. There's a reason why we never ordered it off of Amazon. Yeah. Per. Um, but the next shade is one of my favorite phrases, and I was like, we have to like pay homage, and it's, Fuck it up, sis. This is such a beautiful shade, you guys. I have to be honest with you guys and let you guys know that out of all of the eyeshadows that I've ever worked on in my entire life, say it. This one right here. Big facts. It like put me the fuck through it. Okay, I have grays. I was stressed. Uh, we almost didn't make our timeline because I kept redirecting this color. It's not easy to fuck it up, sis. It's not. It really is not easy to fuck it up, sis. And I said, we're not gonna just put something mediocre out there and call it fuck it up, sis, if it's not ultimately what we need it to be. So I redirected the shade a lot of times and it came down to the wire where I was like, wow, like we might not make the timeline because I need to approve it. Mm -hmm. um, but your boy took a trip to Florida uh, in the middle of the Anyway, if you're gonna really um, go there, it's close by Miami, and I feel like there's a catch there, so I feel like there's probably other reasons <laughs> oh, why you went to Florida. No, but there's a swan. Mm. Um, anyway, so I had to take a trip, you guys, dead ass. I took a trip to my lab, because I was like, I need to perfect the shade. I took a trip to the lab, and I worked on it myself with the chemist at the lab, and it's just such a beautiful shade, you guys. I know you guys are absolutely gonna love this color. Buttery, creamy, smooth, full pigment. This shade is so stunning. This is definitely a color you can go to if you want to add some drama, you can layer it. This is definitely going to be your go-to to kick up your looks to a more dramatic evening moment. And the next shade in the palette is this beautiful brown shade down here. And of course, 
This shade is called Shot. Shots. I think we have to take a shot. For that. I think we should. Yeah. Okay, first of all, how the fuck are these two brand new bottles, but yours is here and mine is here? Okay, one. Wow! Expose, expose, expose. You have been exposed, sir. Expose, expose. I do you want to do you want to end this video on a, on a good note or do you want me to really be in my feelings? You know I'm a cancer. No, I've learned. You know we hold on to that shit. Yeah, no, I understand. Okay? Yeah, I understand. You know the conversations we've had, John. The moment. The only thing is you want to film more videos today, dude. Per, pour it up. <laughs> okay. That's why he didn't sneeze the last one because he didn't take it. Listen, dude, I'm at my place of work. Per. And I'm on the clock, dude. All right, here we go. Fuck. Shot, shots. Per. Dude, we're seven sh fucking shades in. <laughs> and that's how I know he really took that shit. Per. Listen, if you buy this palette, every time you use this eyeshadow, you gotta eye take a shot. Oh my God. Per. Per. I'm gonna need an IV to Wait, I'm having an emotional moment because I'm looking at it on the monitor and I just, I just wanna cry. <laughs> I wanna cry for a whole nother reason. This is a fire shade, you guys. You can use it alone. You can use it in your crease. This is Shots. And if you're watching this video and you've made it this far, make sure you take a shot. Shot per. Or if you're going to a day club, I feel like it could be a nice subtle moment. If you want to be subtle, you know what I mean? If you, you want to be a brunch with your girls and you're doing little champagne vibes, per. Per. Shots. Per. Champagne shots. Per. The most perfect brown shade. It is so smooth, so creamy, so buttery. This is the perfect transition color. You can use it by itself if you want something a little bit more subtle, a little bit more everyday. It literally makes the perfect transition color for any eyeshadow in this palette. All right, you guys, so the next shade in the palette is the shade that I have all over my eyes that I love. I'm obsessed with it. And there was no way we could have ever created a palette without naming an eyeshadow. Period. Period. You guys, in case you didn't know, fun fact, every time you guys hear that little drop, um, it's actually you. Most people don't think it's you. It's actually me. Can you please tell them when I did that? Uh, I randomly was like, can you send me you saying period? Because I was doing- But I was, I was doing something random, I You feel. were in an Uber, dude. I was in an Uber. And if you really Uber. listen to it, every time I hit it, the Uber guy goes, what was that? So and it's, it's like, period! It's that, and then the, right after the guy goes, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, per. And that's why we had to name the shade Period. You guys, I love teals, I love blues, and I needed to create something that gave me that vibe. To me, if I was to walk into a club, mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna set it up for you. You're at the bar. Mm -hmm. at the bar. Okay, right. you're at the bar. Yep. You're ordering a beverage, a beverage. The bartender pours it. You look to your right and you see this. Oh, oh my. Tell me that ain't all period, bitch. You're securing the bag, you're getting yourself a man, and that's just that on that, and it's period. period. This color is a dream. It is so beautiful. The payoff is gorgeous, super metallic and sparkly. This literally adds a statement to any makeup look, definitely not for the faint of heart. And the last shade in our palette, it's very near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. Um, unfortunately, he couldn't be here today. The last shadow in the palette is called Big, Big Mike. Mike. <laughs> Huge shout out to our club security. Huge shout out to club security for keeping the club going, keeping the club safe, kicking out the ratchets. Anyone that's knocking and bucking, kicking out, fight. kicking out the amargadas, uh -huh. the haters. This shade, you guys, is literally. I've never created a dark shade like this. If you guys have my super nudes palette, you guys know the the darkest I've ever gone is like a like a nice brown. But I was like, this is a club. We need a smoky moment. Mm -hmm. We need a, a we need the drama, okay? Mm -hmm. For my girls that want to pull up and really be seen. So Big Mike is the perfect shade for a smoky moment. This is a transformer because you can literally layer this under any of these bright pops and it's just gonna really change the color. Including um, static. Including static. Just know she's the tea, you need it, and that's just that on that. This is definitely gonna be that color that adds all the drama to your makeup looks. So you can definitely layer this under any shade to really make it look absolutely different and it just really gives me all of the drama that I need, especially when you hit the club. And that is it. Well, that's the palette. Yeah, well, that's what I mean, that's the palette. It keeps going. <laughs> and it keeps going, you guys. This palette is going to retail for 
dollars. Okay, this is a limited edition collection. I'm so proud of this palette. Again, she's an evening moment. She is for that girl that is bold. If you are that bitch, you need this palette. Period. Perfect. All right, you guys ready for the highlight? I don't want to. I don't want to toot my own horn. Toot it. All right, we're gonna toot it up. Toot it. Toot it up. The highlight of the highlight of my week has always been Club Daddy. That's the highlight of what I looked forward to every week. The highlight of my life. We all work really hard, and I yes, appreciate it just turning up a little bit now. You work very hard, actually. I'm definitely a man of many hats. Will you, will you let us? Like, but what's the secret sauce? Um, that highlight? The highlight, I would say, is this a key to success, and I also feel like Grey Goose, and I also feel like uh, your energy actually gives me a lot of uh, confidence. You know it's contagious. Going. It is. Contagiana. Um, it's big glow energy that keeps me going. Big glow energy. Helen on it, folks. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. So lighting's always been my thing. So that's why the highlight is called Addicted to Light. There was, th I couldn't imagine another highlighter made by you not named Addicted to Light. It's my thing. This is the highlight right here. You guys, hold on, we gotta like hold like. Mm -hmm. Burn. Mm -hmm. Oh, you see that? Mm -hmm. You can't tell me that that just doesn't want to make you twerk. Mm -hmm. Like I'm looking at that and I'm just like one cheek. One cheek I think one a one cash cheek, app cheek. is happening right now. I'm hearing little bell sounds. I mean, go it is so good, you guys. Um, so my logo is embossed on here. For those of you guys at home that don't know what that means, basically it is lifted from the Surfiana, mm -hmm. and it, of course it is in beautiful Club Daddy magenta foil. And then if you open up the highlight right this here. This is my favorite part, you guys. I'm gonna do a product shot of this afterwards, but uh, this is my signature Addicted to Light light bulb. <laughs> Bad bitches link up! Uh, it's deboss into the actual highlight. Which you better that... know the difference between mm -hmm. emboss and deboss, bitch. Mm -hmm. We got all kinds of boss <laughs> bitches up in this fucking highlight, okay? Mm -hmm. Only bosses. Uh, dislike this video if you're not a boss. I low key feel like no shade, y'all should buy two. Yeah, that's like, what I was just gonna say. I think like like, you one, have like one, on one to just keep for the moment and then the other one that they actually use. Cause dead ass, mm -hmm. like I don't even wanna like ruin the shape with the brush because it, it literally is so just like beautiful. One and I'm frame. so happy that we were able to do it. One to frame and then one to use. Right. Maybe one just to have an on deck. So let's exactly. go three. I think three is a good number. Yeah. Let's or see. yeah, yeah. Or four. Per. Maybe five. Per. Uh, can we talk about the actual color of the highlight? Let's though? talk about it. I feel like uh, when in doubt, you and I both have the same. When motto. in doubt, don't get the gout. Don't got the, don't get the gout, but also don't, don't got the what? Don't got the gout. <laughs> Take another shot. I feel like when in doubt, we both add more glow. Always. Period. Yeah. I feel like a little bit more light. Yeah. We all like to stand out. Both of us like yeah. to stand out. Yes. Even though I'm a little bit more reserved, I feel like I like to be the center. I feel like you like to be the center. This highlight to me gives you that effect. Yes. yes. It's buildable. Very buildable. I feel like it makes you feel like a bad bitch. Period. You better know the terms. You better build. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to be subtle, you can be subtle. I don't know why you want to be subtle. And it, you guys, and I want you guys to know too, on a formulation perspective. Let them know. Because, you know, he was like, this is what I want. Boom, 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 boom. And I said, okay, cool. This is what he wants. We got that, but like, how do we make this like extra special? We developed this formula, you guys. It's a very unique formula. I don't know. It's not like a powder highlight. Like, you know powder highlights, you like touch them, it feels like powder. When you touch this, it has a very unique texture. It's very like, bouncy. bouncy. You better, you better know the descriptive Twerky. Adjectives. You better know. Mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't feel like anything that I can think of. It looks like a powder and then you touch it and it almost feels airy. Bouncy is a good word, um, and it almost feels wet. And when we were working on the formula, and that was the, the moment, I was just kind of like, I don't know, I'm concerned because I don't want it to compromise makeup. Because if you guys are makeup addicts, makeup lovers, you know that those textures, those more, the, the more wet textures, sometimes fuck up your foundation. Like it, it just compromises the makeup. And I was like, we have to make sure that this is good and it's solid. I had everyone in my office testing it, including Katiana. Mm -hmm. Katiana was heavily involved. Katiana in was very involved in the Shadiana. Mm -hmm. And we we really nailed it, you guys. Like it literally gives you that like wet like shine texture, but it doesn't look dry. It doesn't feel dry. It's really really unique. I'm honestly so so thrilled with what we created because it feels amazing, it looks amazing, it performs amazing. You guys, it's it's really lit and we're really, really happy with it. And hold on, we gotta, we gotta tell them about um, 
there's a little magenta ring inside. Mm -hmm. The little foil moment. This is not some basic middle no. of the mall shit. No, this is it some is custom not. high end. It is not. High fashion shit you would expect. High fashion. Mm -hmm. I if love this. If you were to put this as an artist, say yes. a performer. Okay. Can I tell you who I think it might who? be? I think this is JLo green dress moment. Dead ass, and I feel like that's that's a big moment. I always feel like I'm Diddy in the white suit. Wow! And I feel like right here I've created the JLo green dress moment wow. right here. So if wow. you know, you know. If, if you, know, you, you want know. that moment for yourself, I per. suggest you pick up the palette. Per. I suggest you pick up it all. Per. Period. So I really wanted to make sure that this collection felt very completed. There's a couple of other um, things that we launched recently that you guys have been loving. And I felt like this was such a great opportunity to really expand and extend and give you guys another variation of what I know that you guys love. And one of the biggest things that you guys have been loving for my brand is my Diamond Lights finishers. Mm -hmm. They are incredible. There's nothing like it. They literally give you I appreciate you handing that to me the way you did. All day. Perf. They, they literally gave you like the most perfect wet like shine. So we had to create one for Club Daddy. And you guys can see it has the Club Daddy logo in the front. This one, we we had to name it something that we always kind of reference. Mm -hmm. So every time John and I would hop on the phone and we'd be like, all right, what are we playing this weekend? Like what's new? What artist dropped what? Like what's the hottest song? We always refer to it as a banger, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what this is. And this Diamond Lights finisher is called Burr, 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 banger. Because it is a banger, you guys. This is literally the most beautiful shade. It is a duochrome. This is literally like a one-stop shop. You can throw it on and call it a day, or you can layer it with one of the most beautiful shades in the palette, and it just transforms the look. It is so awesome. It is so good. We love this shade. I feel like we needed to have something that was like an interesting pop. It's almost like, like that like unexpected moment, you know? If you want to remix the palette, throw a banger on. Remix! <laughs> <laughs> this is inside moment. You guys will know right this. You'll know tomorrow. You'll know maybe tomorrow. Uh, but you guys, this shade is so awesome. I felt like when it came to Club Daddy, there was always something unexpected happening, whether it was a guest, whether it was a performer, whether it was somebody getting naked, I don't know. So I felt like with this, we needed to do something a little out of the box and unexpected. So we created a really unique duochrome lime green shade. I just felt like the contrast between like the lime and like the magenta and the teal, like it just created this really awesome, just kind of like vibe. Um, so I'm really, really happy with it. And it looks like this, it comes in our Diamond Lights finisher component. Same size, you guys, this is literally so beautiful. Again, this is limited edition. When she is gone, she is gone. So make sure you guys definitely pick this up. This is definitely something that you guys need in your life. And last but not least in this collection, we couldn't complete a collection without a lip product. So we have my iconic Silk Cream lipstick and we created a shade named Daddy, which I absolutely love. It is the most beautiful like nude mauve shade. And of course it says Club Daddy in the front and it has all the information that you guys need to know, like ingredients and stuff like that. So we're gonna open it up and it comes in our beautiful black and gold bullet. I love this so much Super because it's really nice and secure. It's, what does this give you? It gives you like expensive. Elegant, affluent. She's sophisticated. She owns land. She owns land, she owns real estate. Yeah. Sophisticated, has a degree. Um, equity in multiple businesses. I would say. Stocks. A state. At this level, you have an estate. You have to have an estate at this level. Yeah. Per, per. But you guys, it's so cute. I love it so much. It says Daddy in the back. This, that's the name of the shade. I'm gonna open it up and show it to you guys. And it literally is like the most beautiful, like nude mauve shade. I just felt like if I had to pick a color to just complement the color story in the palette, this was definitely it. The really cool thing about the shade too is I feel like it literally looks different on everyone. Mm -hmm. So if you're like fair, it's gonna look different on you than if you're like medium or deep or dark. Um, but it looks great on every single person. Same great formula, super creamy, smooth, glides on, full pigment, moisturizing, hydrating, luxurious. Like it is one. just- Wearable. Wearable, buildable. You guys definitely have to check this out. This is again, limited edition. This entire collection is limited edition. Um, I can't stress that enough because I feel like you guys always get mad at me if something sells out or if something's no longer available. We told you. We told you. We warned you. We told you the tea. Per. Okay, so everything will be available December 11th, Friday, December 11th. The club will be available at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time when the club opens because you guys know 
that we had to do a very special club daddy night the night of the launch. So we're super excited. We have some tricks up our sleeve. Should we kind of give them a little? I would say this is our official launch party. This is our official launch party. If you thought we've done it big before, we've been doing it big for a regular Friday night. Or imagine, a Saturday night. Imagine what we do on our launch party. Exactly. Period. It's gonna be lit, you guys. I'm super excited. We have some tricks up our sleeve. It's gonna be crazy. The collection will be available when the club opens at nine. Dress to impress. Dress to impress. Uh, no don't be Laziana. No baseball caps. No, no jerseys. white tees. No jerseys. No, no sneakers. No street attire. Unless it's static job merch, per. Yeah, then that's okay. Per. Um, girls, make sure you're wearing your heels. No flats, no chanclas, no barefoot until you get home. And you guys, it's gonna be so lit. I'm so excited. I'm so proud of this collection. And yeah, I think that's it. Do we have everything covered? Thank you for having me be a part of this collection. I'm honored. I'm so glad we did this, honestly. Like, I literally feel like I could have never imagined doing something like this with anyone other than you. Truly. Deadass? Truly deadass. Like, purr. I'm gonna cry! Okay. We gotta keep it. No tears. We, keep have, it. we have other videos. To we gotta keep tonight. it. You know, we gotta, we gotta keep it, you know. 100? We gotta keep it G. And that's what we do. We gotta keep it. Pull up to the- I don't know what this is. Oh, that's it right there. But we gotta keep it. Yeah, that's, that's what we're keeping. <laughs> is that, this a, wait, is this a gang sign? No, this is the tiny shrimp. That's how you tell the waiter at catch. <laughs> uh, more, more tiny shrimp, please. What's that thing where you break the dessert? The hit me cake. Yeah, this is the hit me cake right here. You guys, mm -hmm. and then as soon as, as soon as catch opens back up, we'll you meet already you know there. what time it is. Crispy shrimp on meat, per. Period. <laughs> Catch party. Pull up to the club December 11th. We'll see you there. We'll see you guys on December 11th at 9 p.m. PST. I hope you guys are excited and thank you guys for watching.